Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be going over Google Chrome and how to create bookmarks and a bookmarks folder as well as show your bookmarks bar. This is a video request that comes in from Gary and Gary says, hey Professor Morgan, I'm going to need some help with some steps for setting up bookmarks in Google Chrome. This stuff is pretty complicated. Well Gary, hopefully it won't be too complicated by the end and we're going to go ahead and get started right now. So I'm, I've restored my Google Chrome to its default settings and so if you just recently downloaded Chrome, you can open it up and it's going to look like this. When you come onto this page you can see up here towards the top this bar that automatically has a blinking cursor in it. This is called the address bar. The address bar has a search method in it as well as a star on the right side. The star on the right side is how you bookmark a page in Chrome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website that I go to often. So let's just use YouTube as the first example since you're watching this video on YouTube. If I go to youtube.com and I press enter, it's going to take me to the YouTube page. Now let's say that I want to bookmark the YouTube page. Well, then I can go right over here to this star and I click on it right there, bookmark this page. Now, you'll notice that when you bookmark this page, it says YouTube. And since I'm on YouTube quite a bit, I'm going to go ahead and call this the YouTube home page. Okay, so I could type in right there, YouTube home page, and I could choose a folder for it to go inside. Now, on this one, I'm just going to choose bookmarks bar, which is the default folder. And then I'll click done. Now you'll notice after you bookmark the page, nothing really happens besides this blue star appearing right up here. Now if I want to actually see what uh, a shortcut to get to that bookmark on Chrome as default, uh, you should look to the right of that star and you'll see this three dots and it says customize and control Google Chrome. If we click that and we go down here to bookmarks, and you go right here, you'll see that YouTube homepage appears within the bookmarks. But if you think about it, that's kind of a pain to try to get all the way up there every single time you want to view your bookmarks, right? It would be easier just to have it in a one-click area rather than clicking, going down here, and then choosing the one along this list. So instead, we're going to go right up here to show bookmarks bar. And if I click this, we will see that it appears right here now, YouTube homepage, um, along the bookmarks bar. So now anytime that I open up Chrome, I'm going to go ahead and close it right now. And then I'll reopen it. And we'll see as I open it up here, Google, uh, Google Chrome now shows the YouTube homepage right up here. So now I can easily click right there and it takes me to that URL onto the YouTube homepage. So very good. Now you'll also notice that this one here, apps, is here by default. If I click that, it's going to ask me to sign into uh, Google Chrome, okay, or sign into Google, and it gives you the option to go into Google Docs, Google Drive, YouTube, Gmail, Slides, and Sheets. So that will be here by default. Now, um, also the web store. Now, if you say didn't want apps to be on here because you don't ever use the apps, well, then you would right click where it says apps. And this is where you can choose what you want to do with this. Now, uh, Google, unfortunately, does not let you delete apps. So that one's always going to be there, it looks like. So let's say that you stopped uh, going to YouTube and you didn't want this onto your homepage any or onto your bookmarks anymore. This is how you delete a bookmark. So I would right click it and I'd go right down here to delete. Okay, and so that'll get rid of it. Okay, great. So now we know how to add bookmarks and we also know how to delete bookmarks. But what happens if you want to add bookmarks into a specific folder? Well, let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go back to YouTube and I'm going to, instead of just uh, saving the YouTube homepage, I'm going to assume that you're a student in one of my Microsoft Office classes. And so you need to learn Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if I go to my web page here, on YouTube and I click on this and now I want to learn Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. I'm going to go right here to Playlists and I'm going to click on Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. Now notice I opened up each of these in new tabs. Okay, The way that I did that on my mouse was if you've seen on your mouse before, you have left click and right click, and you also have the scroll wheel in the middle. If you use the center button for the scroll wheel to actually click, it'll open it up in new tabs. So that's a nice little shortcut there. Or you could right click and go to open a new tab, and you'll see right up here, it opens up in new tabs. Now these four things here, I want them to be in bookmarks. Now here we go. I'm going to go to Word, 
and this is my word playlist right here. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to bookmark this one. However, you'll see that um, instead of just clicking this, I could also do a shortcut. So you can see if I click the three dots under bookmarks, you'll see bookmark this page is control plus D. And again, this is on a Windows device. And so if I did control plus D, you'll notice that it's going to automatically add this as a bookmark. And I'll just call this one word playlist. Now, this time I'm going to show you how to create a folder for this. So I'm going to go here to the bookmarks bar and I'm going to, going to choose choose another folder and that's going to open up this menu here and it's going to ask me what do you want the name of this one to be well I already called it word playlist but I want it to be created in a new folder I'm going to call this folder right here Microsoft Microsoft Office videos okay nice easy folder to remember and it'll give me the exact name and it's right here in my bookmarks bar which means it'll appear right up here where it was before so that's nice and then uh, after I want to create the folder I press enter and then I can go right here to save and there we go it says Microsoft Office videos up here okay now um, notice that it does get cut off a little bit we can't really see the end of it so I want to make it a shorter name I could go right here and right click and go to rename and I'll just call it office videos Okay, that way I could see the whole name. So it looks good, but where is the word playlist within the Office videos? Well, if I click on it, I'm going to see the word playlist right there. So that's great. Now I see that folder contains one uh, URL or one website within it. So now what I could do is I could add Excel, Access, and PowerPoint playlists to that, uh, to that folder. So what I'll do is I'll go to Excel. I'll pause the video real quick, and then I'll do a Control D. Again, that's for your bookmarks, and I'm saying D is in dog. And I'm going to call this one Excel Videos. So I'll go right up here, and I'll call this one Excel Videos, and it'll choose the folder Office Videos. Okay, Office Videos is the correct folder, and I'll click Done. Once I click Done, if I go up here to Office Videos, you'll now see that I have Word Videos, or Word Playlist, and Excel Videos. Well, I named that one incorrectly. It should be called Excel Playlist, just to be with consistency. So anytime that I want, I could right-click on it, and let's see where rename is. Oh, I'd have to go into bookmark manager and then rename that one to Excel. Do they really not let me rename this? Uh, okay, well, I guess it, they're not letting me rename that. Okay, well, anyway, Excel videos are right there. Okay, not as easy as in Chrome as in Firefox. Anyway, um, here we go. So this last one is uh, Excel. I'm gonna go right here, control D or this is access, so I'll call it access playlist. It's within office videos, done. And now I see access is in there. And then finally, the last one here, PowerPoint. And I'll go here and I'll do control D. And I'll save this one as PowerPoint playlist within my office videos. So now you can see by creating folders, I could have one easy button to where I could choose any of these four related topics at any time. So it, let's say you were uh, a fan of baseball, you could have a, a folder called baseball and all your favorite baseball websites there. It doesn't really matter what you have, but you could easily create folders and bookmarks within your bookmarks bar so that you can navigate to any website at any time. So um, that's the tutorial on how to create bookmarks and how to create bookmark folders inside of Google Chrome. Hopefully this has helped you out. Um, if it has, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a video request of your own, please put it in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you on that request. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.